Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I have some exciting news to share with you all. So many of you have been asking me for the labs for practice cybersecurity skills, especially around SIM alerts and threat detection. Well, the wait is over. I have just released a demo version of SIM alerts on Black Hat Commando portal. This demo is designed to give you a hands-on experience with real world alerts, how an organization deal with the alerts, how an organization get the alerts from the SIM. These are all the types of alerts we have kept in the lab. So whether you are an aspiring SOC analyst, a cyber security enthusiastic and a professional looking for the sharpen your skills, this lab is for you. In this demo, you'll get to analyze SIM alerts, understand how to interpret them and even practice responding that potential threats. It's a perfect way to bridge the gap between theory and real world applications. So what are you waiting for? Just give me a second. I'll uh, open the lab. So when we are open our lab, it will be look like this. Here, we are having the description of the demo lab and we are having four types of categories of what are the types of categories alerts we are having and we'll be displaying here. So uh, there is a note point we have kept here that it is only for laptop or PC version. It is not optimized for the mobile versions. If you are using in the mobile, the alignments of this design will be in not proper. We just released for the PC itself. In further, we are going to release for mobile versions also. For now, don't use mobiles. So going forward, Windows alerts, it was showing there are total three alerts. When we click here, it will go to, goes to the uh, Windows page. Uh, same as firewall alerts, Azure alerts, Linux alerts. From home page, uh, we can go anywhere like this. When I click on Windows alerts, it will display like this. And here there is a navigation bar that you can redirect back to the home again, or you can directly read redirect uh, other three labs of different categories. Even though if anyone has not joined the Telegram group, you can directly join from here itself. So now the Windows alerts are here. It will show here description which type of Windows category alert it is and the uh, dis description of this alert and it is a critical alert. So when other than this, we have three types of buttons in blue color. These are how the alert triggered on what basis this alert has been triggered. So it will show that the title who has written this alert, uh, the description, what should be detected selection and not filter. If these things are there, just filter. And these things are there, just get the alert. Alert level is a critical, which type of it is, product, windows, service, schedule, task scheduler, which type of log it is, windows log. So we have seen that how the rule has been triggered. On this basis, the alert was triggered. When we open this alert, we need some data what the things on which host it was done, on which uh, user it was done, on what uh, directories path it, it has been done. So here we have kept alert data, which are required things only we have kept. Uh, if we see any alert, the event is more than uh, 15 to 20 lines, but we have kept what are the required ones, those only we have kept here. So agent type, event action, event channel, code, provider, host name, username, on which task it has been done, event ID, what task has been done, which domain it has happened, what is the process ID, etc, etc. So when we click here, it will go back. So uh, after analyzing this alert, we have concluded uh, that whether this is a false positive or true positive or we need to uh, get information from 
a client as well or uh, some user as well so just uh, conclude one thing and we will give the comment here like i have found this is a false positive because uh because it is a planned activity in the organization so i have kept a dismiss comment not only this comment you can give your own analysis also after this you just dismiss this alert uh, the alert has been dismissed you can do the same thing for other three alerts like it is a high alert it is a medium alert it is a you can view the rule and we can see the data also you can dismiss the alert also uh, as of now um, the next one is uh, this is because of triggered a user user has uh, cleared the security event logs someone has deleted the logs so that's why it was triggered and uh, some user name has been renamed or changed something it was triggered through edr and sim uh you can see it is a medium alert it's not uh, that much uh severity so you can see again the alert alert data and if you want to dismiss uh, you can dismiss also so going forward uh, we are moving to firewall alerts so firewall alerts we are we can see here if i want to go to what i have uh, analyzed and dismiss the windows alerts i can go back from here and i can see again this is the dismiss reason for that alert uh, note here whenever you have closed this tab from the windows then this dismiss reason will be disappear because it will be up to your computer local memory only until unless you have closed then only it will go if you have gone to uh, firewall alerts or some other tab you can still view this dismiss reason for here only so uh, for paid users or paid labs in for in upcoming uh, days we are launching soon for them the dismiss reason will be long last up to more days so uh, moving forward firewall alerts so here the title uh, describing about someone is doing uh, horizontal port scan on your network why the rule has been triggered see the data hmm? and uh, user is connected to the port 8000 uh, to the internet and also host is connecting to the high risk applications you can see here also the views and you can uh, directly dismiss from here itself so even we can go to the azure alerts someone is changed a user has changed the password and detected by the azure active directory some permissions has been re removed to the o365 user so we can see uh, test bhc a user has been uh, removed the permissions and uh, a user office 365 login fail someone has been failed their logins when we see the rule it will show the rule why was it triggered and when we have seen here the data of this alert <clears throat> etc and uh, when we come to the linux failed login attempts on linux server a user deleted uh, using file remove command in the li linux we can use rm command to remove the files so it was detected like that also and uh, someone is uh, trying to re uh, shut down or reboot happened why does this happen most probably uh, uh, reboot would not happen in the linux servers and shutdowns won't be happen it might be happen some uh, issues occur in the server then only it will be happen view the rule uh, and you can see the data of this alert so in further coming sessions i will explain each and every alert of this demo session there are total 12 alerts we have kept on four categories each and every alert i will explain how to analyze how to dismiss this alerts using 
Chrome, Chat GPT, and your own analysis, how to dismiss. I'll explain each and everything. Don't worry. Just stay tuned for the next update.